Hey, what's going on guys? Mongoose here. And today, um, well, just by the title, you know what we're doing, but today I'm going to go into detail on every corner on the uh, volcano in Forza Horizon 5. So basically, just lines, uh, speed, like I said, go into detail, but I guess let's get to the top and start back. Okay, so, corner one, let me just show you it really quick, though so it's got a weird shape to it. It's like a hairpin, but it's not. It's almost a double apex, but you're coming into it at a weird angle. So, I always start way wide, get really inside, and then this flat section between the two apexes, you stay outside. Not completely outside, because you still have to link that next corner's apex. So, I'll show you what I mean really quick. So I come in wide, go here, cut to the middle, apex. Corner two is just a normal little weave corner. And the line is pretty simple on that. Start wide, come in at it. Just make it as straight as possible, apex, and then link that next apex, like this. That wasn't the best line right there, but... Yeah. And this corner is a big hairpin, not a double a apex, so you can stay inside the entire time. Come out wide. And then... <clears throat> The corner following that, the curve, it's just like the last corner right before this big hairpin. In fact, it's nearly identical, it's just reversed. So it's a little longer, but you just have to just keep it tight the whole way, and then that next one, keep it tight. So let's see what I mean. Keep it tight. Stay inside, and you can cut outside, keep it tight again, and then go outside. This corner I just messed up. That was basically a double apex corner if you looked at it closely enough. It had it had a curve, but then it went flat, and then it curved again. So those you have to take in weird ways because it's not quite a double apex it's more of a elongated apex so Time it's, out. It, Round one, fail. it's not quite a corner it's more a corner and a half and then another corner and a half this next corner is quite obviously and visibly a hairpin which this one's always deceiving because you come into it like this road goes up and it's down so your car a lot of times I'll come in and I'll end up sliding because of that weight shift of the car bouncing upwards. So I'm not going into a fast enough to do that and this car is really grippy but yeah. I will take this corner the best way I can. Now I'm not going full speed because I'm trying to demonstrate some stuff but this next section is a big long straight section. Lines are pretty simple here because, well, these corners are short. In the rally world, world those would be like five or sixes. This one I always come in flying. But this corner is tricky. Maybe not for you guys, but a lot of times I will find myself. I'll come in too fast. I'll hit the apex. 
but that exit I end up going off the road sliding or not so it's almost it's almost deceiving it looks longer than it is but it's a little sharper than it it looks from the driving point of view so I'll, I'll demonstrate a good way to take it like that and this is a kind of a double apex you kind of go wide a little bit and cut back in it's a really subtle double apex this corner big 90 degree just gonna hang it in tight now this section is probably my favorite the s curves I call them because you can go straight almost the whole way obviously you're turning a little bit but you're not turning as much. Now this next corner is a tricky one. Just like that corner I mentioned before. It looks bigger. But if you look at it, even those whole things on the downhill, that's the slope on that corner is a lot is a little bit steeper. So you come into it and you have to brake harder. And then the exit point, this is a giant double apex, kind of. Even though it's two corners, you could almost drive it like a double apex if you're fast enough. I'm not. But yeah, you just got to be careful on this corner. Because it's a big, it's big and wide, okay? High speed corner. But it, it almost leans to the outside and it's on a downhill slope. So you got to be careful. next one double apex you just got a middle here cut it back inside same with this except it's a lot bigger so you can go wide and you just the, the trick to these corners is to just try and link them because they're, they're close together you know they're big corners I always say you got to go go as straight as possible through the corners turn the least amount like entry wide so that you don't have to turn your wheel. Look how little I'm turning the wheel. I mean, unless you're drifting, which I do too. Yeah. Oh yeah, this corner. The trifecta, just kidding. Uh, this one is weird because on the map it looks semi-normal, but it has, a, it's like a triple apex. Okay, um, sorry, my camera will just be weird. So, basically, this corner, like I just said, you gotta take it weird. I didn't quite finish what I meant, but you almost have to take it. I'll demonstrate. So basically, what I did there was. I, between every apex, I was in the middle part of the road, so it was like apex, middle, apex, middle. It's basically two double apexes, you just gotta think of it that way, but it's quicker. Uphill's a little different because of the angle of the road, pretty much. But yeah, so this next part, just a simple curve, not really a corner. Um, this one at the bottom here is uh, a double apex, a big one. It almost gives off the appearance. Um, it looks a lot like the one at the very bottom, but not as complex. That one's like a trip, a quadruple apex. If you think of it that way but that's kind of absurd so let's just go our way sorry if my audio is cutting out I think something's wrong with my headset but it's okay you have to take this one come out wide back inside 
and it, it's fast if you do it that way. This one, just like the S curves up top, just gun straight through them. Same with these, except for this last one. I kind of got a, a little slower. This one, just a hairpin. Simple. That was a bad line. This one, just take it nice inside. Grab a gutter corner. Do it like this if you want to. It's just like the last one, just the other direction. Now, here's the corner I was talking about. So, I'm going to go through it and then I'll explain. Okay, so, I don't know if you saw what I did there. So here, you can see that I did not go very wide because of the speed, okay? If I would have gone wider, I would have traveled a longer distance for that particular section. I know you start wide for an apex, but this corner is really weird. It links two, two double apexes together in the middle so it's weird you can see here obviously I'm on the grass uh, I only put inside tires on the grass I mean I guess you could call it cutting but uh, serve rhyme in allows it okay but yeah you come in you see it I'm pointing straight for that bush but I'm not at basically at that tr that diamond sign right there. That's when I'm going to start turning into the next apex. So here, I'll turn it that was wide, but yeah. Now this part kind of an S curve. At the last corner is probably a, one of the hardest corners because it's so tight. This whole course is fast, so you just got to come in. Take it tight, like the link the last one, just like that. Perfect. Now, this is Forza Horizon 5 after all, so it's not going to be a, a settled Corsa, Competencione, or, or iRacing. It's not going to have the most realistic physics, but I will say this I do own and play. Uh, a set of course of competency on it and it it's a sim it's a simulator game or not a game but whatever and the physics in it are obviously really realistic aside from a few flaws but whatever this game definitely feels a little more a little less realistic but honestly it's not like arcade game unrealistic it's like pretty realistic in fact a lot of people who play it even though it's a fun game open world they always complain about it being too hard like it's not need for speed need for speeds physics it's not meant to be a simulator i don't like need for speed for the that sole reason i just can't play it because it's just not appealing but arcade sims like this I like the physics you know because it's it's realistic enough obviously tire temperature isn't like a thing unless you turn on simulation damage and whatnot but it's really not the worst physics but yeah that's all I gotta say about this game via the lines What's this guy in? The lines. I like this course. I know it's like the main one. And when I first saw it, I was like, man, it looks really. It looks too wide and big. But now that I play the game and use this course, it definitely feels. I like it. It's got the perfect mix of long apexes, straightaways, weird corners. It's got a few hairpins. It's a good, it's a good course. It's not like, 
in, in Forza how you had to make your own toge courses. This is a full-fledged toge course. I mean, it's Mexico after all. But even the other parts, like some of these corners, like this, a weird chicken leg thing. It's got a ton of weird apex sections. This whole, I know the map has been complained about, but I will say some of the roads are actually really good in the sense that there's a lot of different types of corners. Obviously there's gonna be, but this mountain road, look at it compared to these other roads. It's, it's unique. Look at this, this road up here, it's different. And I will say the lines I took that my car I was driving is really a grip car. Lines, if you're drifting, obviously you can be taking almost the same lines, but sometimes it varies for cars. The speed that you carry and how good you can grip, you can get away with different lines and not have to take them as wide. It depends though. But yeah, that is my sort of detailed explanation of the volcano corners i don't know if it was the best but you know what i hope some of you if you guys watch this i hope some of you can learn from this and adapt it like your own driving obviously i'm using a wheel so it's not going to be as like this but um still works on controller lines are lines it's not like the wheel makes different lines wheels just smoother its own way but yeah i think that will be it for this video so thank you for watching like and subscribe all that stuff um go watch my last video it was a toge run with wheel cam but yeah thanks guys see ya